this, you can't make salted pigtails without pigtails. And this is raw, it hasn't been you know, straight out of the butcher. And I have here six pounds. You can make more, you can make less, it's totally up to you, but it's a great starting point. I've got six, point, six pounds of the, the pigtail. And what I went ahead and did was I gave it a good wash, but while I was washing it, I used my knife and I scraped all the pieces. Um, sometimes there's hair on there, there is dirt on there, all, the, all these different nasty stuff. I know they're watching this and saying, well, yeah, Chris, where's pig tail? All right. So this sort of recipe or technique is very basic. All we need is salt, water, and the pigtails. So this has already been prepped here. What you'll also need is a bucket or some sort of plastic container to brine it in. And then we're going to create the brine in, in a second, but you need something that's food grade. So if you have a bucket that's food grade or... Um, if you head to the dollar store and you pick up a big Tupperware, that will work as well, depending on how much pigtails you're making. To create the brine, I'm using lukewarm water straight out of the tap. And I already have eight cups of water in there. I'm going to add four more cups of water. Now, this is going to be dependent on how much pigtails you're making. But I'm starting off with 12 cups of water. To that, we're going to add the salt to make the brine. Salt. We need salt to create this brine and the reason for the lukewarm water is to allow that salt to dissolve. Now a true brine, a really good brine from the research I've done and speaking to people on the west coast of Canada that um, does the same thing with beef and pork ribs. What I was told is that you're going to keep adding salt to the water and keep whisking it it's going to dissolve and the more salt you add the better because it's going to help cure the meat and preserve it at the same time what they mentioned to me is that you want to get it to the point where the the salt stops dissolving it's going to be so heavy in the sodium content in there that it's, it's just going to stop um, uh, melting i guess in goes some more salt and that is yo let's talk about the salt for a second i didn't realize we didn't talk about the salt you want if you can find pickling salt and and the reason for the pickling salt or any salt that's not loaded in iodine you really want it to be have like trace amounts of iodine because um you want a salt that will not cake so the longer this stays in the bucket it's going to take anywhere from three weeks to a month to fully cure you don't want the salt caking on you so the key is pickling salt or any salt that's not high in iodine go ahead now and start whisking that yeah probably needed a a bigger bowl <laughs> it's gonna be yo i'm gonna have a mess to clean up here tonight boy but anyhow we're gonna try and get this salt dissolved in there yeah Oh, you're not seeing things. I switched over to the bucket because I was making quite a bit of a mess there with that, trying to be vigorous inside there. And I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it is a coarse, very coarse salt. I'm gonna add two more cups, so that is six cups in total. And I'm gonna keep stirring this just until it melts down. Yeah, you can already tell the viscosity of the water has changed considerably, so it is where I want it to be and you can see I don't know if you guys can see it but the salt has stopped melting it stopped dissolving so that is where we know we are proper one final little stir put that aside and all you want to do now is dump the pieces of pigtail look at that sit inside there, eh? down into the bucket yo I tell you it's real simple this here is just a piece of the tail with just a piece of bone and some meat in there. I kind of lucky this time. I got a few pieces like that. Now, here's the thing. I forgot to mention, if you wanted to trim off some of that fat there, um, you can do that as well. That, yo, unfortunately, <laughs> flavor lives down inside there, yeah? I ain't trying to force all it to, to get on the eating fat train, but I'm telling you, we, a little bit in moderation. So that's all we're doing is putting the pieces of pigtails in there. And if you want, you can put a plate or something or anything that would submerge it in the bucket lower down. 
I may have forgotten to mention that it's important that the water after we created the brine that it cools down completely before adding the pieces of pigtail the raw pigtail to it else yo a recipe for um, bacteria and I'm only trying to promote that recipe what we will do next now is a side plate and I'm just gonna push that down and I'm gonna put a weight on here just to make sure all the pieces of pork is submerged in the bucket we're gonna cover the bucket and we're gonna put it into the fridge and let that go anywhere between three weeks and a month Before we continue, I wanted to show you something on a piece of clear tape, any sort of tape, because I'm going to reuse this bucket at some point. I put the date, um, I started this, it was March 2nd, 2023. Today is the 25th, so we've had it in here just over three weeks. It's been in the fridge in a nice cool place. So all we're going to do now, and I'll show you the big reveal. There you go, I don't really want to dirty up my counters too much with the briny salty porky pigtails but at this point you can start using it I'm gonna shoot for one more week I want this just a little bit more cured but it's totally up to you and you can see we've got beautiful pieces of pigtail all cured and salty and brined and everything in there yeah big pieces of fat we well we saw that earlier we can trim that off as i said in the earlier part of the video but chris here caribbeanpod.com you made your own salted pigtails at home i do hope if you usually buy this stuff you can go out and make it now <laughs> sup soldiers listen if you enjoy this recipe i'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing if you've made the recipe Take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address, then butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene? Irene. The thing is you do need raw pigtails. So some grocery stores may have it on the shelves, but I bet you if you ask the butcher at your favorite grocery store or any butcher in your neighborhood if they can source it for you, they will. Because, you know, I don't know how many people, how, how much they use this anymore or if they do at all, but um, if they can get a sale for it, I'm sure they'll be willing to sell it to you. So, salted pigtails at home, and this will last me, honestly, a couple months. Um, can you reuse the brine? I guess you can, but I like starting over from scratch every time. If you guys are interested in a video showing how to make salted beef, as you saw when I did that um, salt beef kalaloo recipe, um, if you would like me to do the salted beef, I also have a, a dal recipe coming up with salted beef. But if you're, if you're interested in that video, drop a comment down below and I'll get to it. Irene? Irene. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.